Yo, yo, everybody, and welcome to a special video. Have you ever wanted to design and create your own troop tree? Have you looked at mods that have, have you do strange things in text files and other strange folders? outside of the game and you really have no idea what's going on and then you have to find out what what items are called and they're called these weird names underscore weird stuff underscore other things and then it doesn't work and you have no idea what's going on those are problems of the past because these days there is a mod that lets you create your own troop tree within the game itself and to show you how that all works we're gonna have to create a character Ah yes, what culture should we be? Um, this one. Why? I don't know, but we're going for it. Ah, isn't this a fine gentleman? A proper imperial man? Ah, he's maybe a little bit too pretty. That's better! <laughs> oh, of course he also needs a terrible haircut. Ah, this is a proper noble... Empire man, isn't it? Even better. Right, and really we're just gonna pick some random stuff that this dude is good at. Oh my god, he's a beautiful little kid. Wait, oh yeah, look at that smile. Oh, he's a sneaky person. Skirmishers, why not? Oh yeah, this man is growing up to become the greatest warrior the world has ever seen. Um, and he's already 40. And he is called Sachanian? More like Onion King, man. Yeah. Right, and we're gonna put it all on Bannerlord. Castle Boys, best family name you ever saw. There we go, perfect. So, you've just rolled in. You're a beautiful, handsome man, and you want to make some custom troops. Well, the mod we're looking at today is My Little Warband, which is, it's got a beautiful name, obviously. It's great. Onion King Man is going and he's going to a village. Now to sort out this mod, I think a good, it's a good place to go. Somewhere where you can recruit troops. And look at this! Recruit! What is this? Well, let's recruit them. Because this works like that as well. And then we'll go into the party screen. Dear God, this is monstrous. Anyway, the way this works is you go into the encyclopedia. Ah, recruit. Wonderful. Nothing else going on here. Of course not. But if you sh hold shift and left click. Oh my goodness. The unit editor pops off. And you can add things that they upgrade to. Rename them. So we'll call this guy Little Fellow. And with a lack of capitalization to make myself sad. And you can see there's multiple things to do here. The le skill level cap... Well, actually, let's take it from the top down. First off, you can uh, see over here with settings, there's gear restrictions, total skill restrictions, and skill cap restrictions, which I think you should all leave these on because already you can make tier one. Well, the troops that you can make of the same tier as other troops are still potentially much stronger than the vanilla ones, depending on how you want to go here. No, troops normally don't ha look the skill cap for level one troops is 25 and what do we want this guy to be um let's make this guy a bowman there are no bowman recruits but basically hold control to maximize the skill of the point you've left and shift four plus five good stuff uh yeah we'll just maximize the ones that we want him to use get rid of the skills you don't need obviously you'll be nerfing them in the arena but that's kind of whatever I think you don't really want your troops to be so good in arena, but yeah, you can give them the stats over here, the important ones. Excellent. Mounts here and other weapons here. And this is all very exciting. You can even change filter equipment options. What appearance they have. All right, let's look at the weapons. So this, these, are, these four are all options for the unit. Uh, so... If we want something for everybody and we don't want it to be random, we can do this. Get all the options in one go. Which is really cool, I think. So, uh, sure. Blacksmith hammer or bow staff. No, that's terrible. Now, 
they will always have a blacksmith hammer. But I'm thinking stone. No, no, no. We want... You can even change your filter with culture, which I think is pretty cool. But we want to search for bows. Bow. Now... There's not a lot of bow options. Let's give him the best bow we can. 46. 46. Yeah, this one or this one. I think we'll give them the step bow. And then, of course, we will go to arrows. Now, this means that every single one will have a step bow. And which arrows do I want to give them? Honestly, to make incredibly overpowered troops, just give them tournament arrows. These guys are going to be giving you, with the blacksmith hammer as well, these are going to be the slaving beasts. They will just knock everybody out and help you get a good little up in the morning. And since we're dirty bastards, they will have two stacks of arrows. <laughs> Not that they're going to need it. And yeah. They sometimes have a wrapped head cloth, apparently, but now they will always have a bandit leather hood. Because they're bandits. And let's just make a troop. Uh, give them some random stuff. Yeah, why not? Make them incredibly strong. And obviously you can make it random. Um, okay, let's make him a belted tunic. But let's have it so that some of them... Wait, that was the wrong one. Some of them have an apron's dress. And some of them also have cold weather dress. And some of them also have baggy trunks. Armoured baggy trunks. Now, these guys are all going to look interesting based on that. No gloves? Why do you? You don't need gloves. Wrapped shoes? Hmm, or curved boots? And belted leather boots. Bam. Random. Excellent. Now, I think that's a perfect first unit. He's, uh, he's strong. Really strong, I think. And you can add an upgraded form. Bam. You can even do two. So, obviously, one is going to be a superior bowman so the first one was a little fellow so this will be a moderate fellow all right and something to take note of is that in this mod at the moment two-handed weapons no if we do this every single tier and we disable gear restrictions there's only the sledgehammer Oh, we'll just give that to them, because why not? But, yes. There's uh, not a lot of two-handed weapons in here. But that is because two-handed weapons are actually just under the uh, one-handed weapon thing here. It's a bit difficult to show here, because there's not a lot of high-level units. But uh, I'll go a bit higher, just to show it off, actually. There we go. You can see simple spar facts, one-handed weapon, that's the tag the mod has given it, but then you see under the weight, class two-handed axe. So there's actually another two-handed weapon right here. Bam. They do exist, they're just under one-handed weapon, just uh, for when you have a look. Otherwise, you can uh, copy the template here, bam, from any other unit of the same rank, and go from there. So, uh, okay, we want to base our unit off of the... Benevolian. And actually, they are above their skill cap. But that's because they have a lot of non mitten maxed stats. And none of their, their important stats are actually at the cap, which is 120. Which you'd want, you know, one handed polearm and walking to be. Because, you know, they've got a one handed polearm. So, you know, it's all balanced like that. But yeah, you can just make your characters like this, and uh, it will update real time. So it looks like recruits now, but we are go done. And we go back into the party. Oh, and look at this. Little fellows, and they have bows. We have level one bowmen. So let's recruit a couple more of these guys and see if we can't find some looters to kill. Okay, well, it's uh, us. And two bowmen versus a million looters. I wonder how this is going to go. I think it's going to go really well.
Oh wow, look at this, it's perfect. Our archers are standing right here, ready to shoot our little fellows. The ones we designed with love and care, they are right here, ready to get going on these darn looters down there. Ah yes, ready and waiting. Oh, and our throwing is terrible? Of course it is, why, why wouldn't it be? Why would our throwing not be terrible? Well, look at that, our, our ranged troops are doing work. Uh, I mean, they were doing work, but you know, uh, when you're outnumbered so much, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult. Uh, it's just kind of what you expect. Uh, this is going really well, guys. Um, hmm. Okay. Right. So obviously, fighting this many looters with so few troops is uh, not the smartest, and we didn't even give ourselves all our skill points for being an old guy, did we? Right, okay, so that was that. Very good. <laughs> okay, so I have actually gone ahead and made a different troop tree. Uh, a finished one, because making a whole troop tree is difficult, especially if you want it to be sort of balanced. So, to do that, you can go into the tavern and export a custom troop tree to XML file. Now, clicking this button will create a mod file in your Bannerlord module folder. So, if you click that button, click this button here, and then you exit Bannerlord, start up the game, and then the launcher, you have to activate that as a, as a mod name. Like that, you say mod name and you say save. Now I've already done that, so we will import a custom troop tree instead, and it has loaded 16 units. Now the wonderful thing about that is that our units should already be... Alright, we don't have any. <laughs> They have updated, look at this, our Billy Bob man here. We have one Billy Bob, and I'll show you the troop tree before we go kick some ass with it. Now, you can choose to pay attention to the names. I would recommend not to because um, I have a hard time coming up with names. Anyway, yes, tier one troop is a, a guy with a scythe and a shield throwing weapons. The theme of this troop tree is everybody can throw things. So the Billy Bob can go into Tough Bob, which has uh, better throwing, a one-handed sword and a shield. Arrow Eater, obviously an improvement of that guy. Actually, I'm not sure I fully upgraded the Arrow Eaters here. Oh no, look, I even forgot to upgrade their stats. I will rectify that right now. There we go. Obviously, the weapons and stuff it all improves and then it splits up into two parts into the two-handed guys and off into the one-handed shield guys where they get real beefy and tanky and on the other side we have them where they're on their horse with some two-handed weapons and uh, lots of riding and throwing everything here can throw and on the elite noble troops because of course you have that as well here we go, here's the noble troop tree. I had actually put these as female, so it seems that it doesn't save the troop gender, which is fine, you can change it anyway. But yes, uh, it starts with the battle billies, just uh, all around tough guys with shield throwing weapons. And it just, uh, after this guy, they have two handed weapons, all the way down to these super beefy, super fast, to reed wielding, huge shield wielding, Big two-handed weapon for boys, just so tanky and strong. So what I love about this mod is that you can just make whatever troop you want to make. I mean, you can even have these guys with horses on if you wanted to. And that's pretty crazy. If you want to have some troops, you want to start with guys with horses, that is something you can do. And these looters. They're already afraid of us, and we're going to show them what the Billy Bobs can do. Ah, this is good. All right. Our guys, look at this. One of them even doesn't have a cape. That's because there's a bit of random in there. And they look uh, mostly the same. Not all of them have the hood, but it's all good. Now, let's see what they choose to do, because they all have throwing knives, because, you know, they're tier one guys. They're not great. I want them to just... Uh, Oh, let's see if they can kill anything with their throwing stuff. Attack! Now, let's hope that they go with their scythes. 
Oh, oh, they're actually going with both. Well, oh, they're going for it. Come on. Ram. Maybe I should give these guys better one-handed skills since they're actually using their daggers for that. But yeah, these are our tier 1 group guys. The lovely Billy Bobs. Strong guys. That was wonderful. Let's see if we can upgrade any of them. Oh, we can upgrade three of them. Fantastic. Now, we don't have any horses, so we can't make them into big Billy Bobs, but we can make them into tough Bobs. Which are big... Or, I mean, look, this is a tier 2 troop, and this guy already looks like he's going to crush anything. And, I mean, you can see that I've uh, probably overtuned, at least with the equipment. All right, we're back. And with lots of looters around, and this time, we even have some of the elite troops with us. The Battle Billies, oh yeah. Which are probably not really better than the other tier 2 troops, but we've got a lot of them. We've got a lot of shield pros. Our weaponry should be better than simple rocks. And we're going to show this group of looters what's up. Now, I'm not quite sure why they're in separate groups. These are apparently considered cavalry. I guess it's because they're noble troops. Which is fine. We'll just, actually, we'll just have everybody charge. So let, let's see how they do. And the, they're obviously going to throw their guys. Come on, let's see. Let's see some thrown weapons. Let's see some thrown weapons do stuff. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Oh yeah, this is what I want to see. Oh yeah, okay, and proper numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Alright, well, we won. We lost nothing. Our battle billies did the job. Ah, now we get to improve them again. Get some tough bobs in here. Nice, and the battle billies can be upgraded even to war maidens, which uh, are still... And here we are, I found it. 14 forest bandits against our 18. Now, forest bandits are, as we know, very dangerous. I even have one forest bandit in there. But we have more men. And, and yes, we did fight something because we actually have no money, so we had to pay for the wages. But uh, our morale is terrible, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a fair showcase. But we'll do it anyway. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the throwing weapons are digging in. Oh, oh, whoa, there we go. There you go, see that? We are beating forest bandits with low morale, with nothing but most, well, we've got a few better tier troops, but you give them shields, you give them some good equipment and love, and you can make the forest bandits fear you, and you don't even need to do anything, just farm. Farm kills off of, um, like I'm doing right now, or just doing something whilst I'm talking. Lovely. The Onion King Man, reigning supreme with his Billy Bobs. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, truly awesome. But now, if you wanted to, you could just make them cavalry troops. So we hop in here, and what we can actually do is we can give them amount and that we can say they always always have a mount they've got a battalion pony yeah why not we can even give them a camel and now the recruits have horses and when they get upgraded to big billy bob it's not going to need a horse because they already have one let's see if this little town has any uh see it has billy bob on a horse I can recruit mounted troops right now. After I did that, it just upgraded. So obviously I think we need to go out with the bang. So we're fighting this uh, lovely noble here with uh, 21 troops. Apparently their power level vastly outweighs ours. But let's see how they do against the Billy Bobs of Onion Kingman. <laughs> All right. Oh no, I, I forgot to give our guys riding skills. So this is going to be very interesting. So we actually have a bunch of uh, cavalry recruits here without any skill in riding. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what the hell I was thinking there, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I think we will have the... 
infantry charge first and have the uh, cavalry behind me, following me for now. Uh-oh, here we go. Throwing weapons at OP. Maybe we could take care of these high-tier troops with them. Uh, oh dear, my throwing skill is way too little to do much with this. Okay, let's go, let's go, guys. Oh no, they've got a good division. Oh, got a good line up there. Come on, men. Show them what you've got. Okay, archers. Let's go for the archers. Let's go for them. After we slow down that dude. Oh, they took care of the Imperial Equit. Charge! Come on, guys. Take care of the archers. Oh, come on, men. Well, I'm hitting them. And I got, I'm distracting them. These guys are throwing at them. It's good, it's good. Oh, oh no! Oh dear, we are dead. We lost. We, we defeated half of them though, and they have got loads of good troops. So I, I see this as an absolute win. Now imagine if we had given our, <laughs> our recruits riding skill. All right, guys, that's enough for, for me from this time. Um, like and subscribe if you feel like this video was at all entertaining to you or, or dislike it if you really hated it because that is also a thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.